Hello students, this particular lecture is an extension to the vlog one of my former professor of IIT Delhi written, a very beautiful blog. And after reading that blog, I thought of making this video. So uh, I'm Dr. Shodesh Kumar Singh and I'm MTech and PhD from IIT Delhi and I'm gold medalist from Aligarh Muslim University my, during my graduation. And I also worked for engineering, service, engineering services for a brief period of time. And from last 20 years, I'm associated with the coaching. I'm coaching GATE and IESC students. So uh, the vlog was related to uh, why the education in the technical institutions is deteriorating. He writes in his blog that most of the teachers are not qualified, especially in the private engineering colleges. Who are the teachers? They don't get job anywhere or in during the crisis, they end up in that job. They are least paid people. So they don't work because they, they don't carry the knowledge. That's the reason they are not able to impart that knowledge to the students. Remember one thing. If the teacher doesn't know, a student cannot know. A student can work hard from the books, whatever he knows, he knows. But through the, if the teacher doesn't know fundamentals, a student doesn't know fundamentals. So deterioration of quality of teaching, both in educational institutions and in the coaching setup, we teachers are responsible. Because, you know, uh, is, I will speak about the online inst uh, coaching institutes, Institute, uh, co online coaching coaching that is going on for the last two years it has really because of corona there was no uh, practically nil offline so there are many many institutes many teachers they are teaching online but somehow because i myself have seen these lectures last two years because i was also relatively free so i will you know uh, try to help you to find out my finding and how you should take up future online things. So in the online system, what is exact, uh, my, this lecture is also based on last uh, 15 to 20 days, I am taking up dark clearing sessions from, for students. And what I'm finding that large number of questions, either the question themselves are wrong or its solution is wrong. Because what the teachers they're trying to do they are trying to make the question look new so that a student appreciate. But in the process, what they do, they end up making the wrong question or the wrong solution. In my some of the videos, I am taking up this topic. So now coming to uh, uh, some of the teaching that is happening in the online system. In Hindi, we call it, it's a machli market. Machli market or a fish market. It's a machli market. So what is the tendency? I want to pull the other teacher down so that my likes and share that increases because everything is based on the how many, how, how many students you are watching and how many likes, how many share, Falana Tikana. So it's all machli market. So once again, I have a request to all of you, please don't write any comment for any teacher. I'm speaking in general. Please don't try to abuse any teachers that he is such and such. I don't, I don't want to see those comments. So it's a humble request. Now, so what is exactly happening? Now point number one, what these online teaching is, uh, teachers they are doing, they are existing notes. They will try to cover some other things so that a student feel, oh, this teacher is covering more. But the process of covering something additional the teachers are not covering the fundamentals of the original syllabus. It's such a no, very prominent thing. So now mostly what teachers end up doing, teacher will take the previous year questions and he will try to develop some theory. And in fact, in indirect way, making the students mug up those answers and, and it will project as some of the theory. But some of these competitive examinations, for example, JE gate, hardly questions are repeated. Some questions are repeated, so students will be able to handle, but suppose they change the theory, then students will not be able to handle. First of all, fundamental should come. So that is the point number one. They are trying to cover this thing, that thing, and in the process, teachers are losing the basic fundamentals, the basic theory that students should know. 
Point number two, to make the class uh, interesting, what the teacher does basically, he tries to cut jokes, cheap jokes. What are the cheap jokes? Because what is the mentality of most of the students? Uh, I will quote from Shastras because I read Shastra every day. Uh, the, in this age, most of the peoples are Manda, Sumanda, Matayaha, Manda, Bhagya, Hyupadrata. Means by nature, people are lazy and they are generally they are dull headed. <laughs> generally. So, uh, what they like? Talk about the opposite sex. Boys talking about the girls. So, some of the teachers that use the trick, a student asks the question, they cut jokes on girls. A student laughs. So, a student thinks that he is one of us. But what exactly is happening? There is no fundamentals. It's a basically friend relationship. So that it's look class looks interesting because the same mentality is basically prevailing between the students and the teachers. They should not be encouraged. Now, next is another trick. Actually, some of the teachers are adopting that they will shout in the, uh, in the online class. Please like, share, like, share as much as possible. Are why? You do your work. Because it teaches things that how many likes and how many shares I have got based on that my popularity will increase. This should not be done. I have seen one lecture by one teacher always say like, share, like, share. In JE there is one very popular <laughs> name in this. See, I'm not taking any name here. And I also discourage students to write any name in the comments. In JE there is one very popular teacher because he always shout like, comment, like, comment, share. Teacher is not supposed to do these things every time. Of course, once or twice, just to for the benefit of a student, he may say, but not always. 10% uh, of the time, he's saying like this. It is happening. Now, another point is because students, the, the grasping power is less. So, what some of the teachers are doing, he is shout, they are shouting a lot. Shouting. One thing they are repeating six or seven times. By repeating six or seven times doesn't mean that you are teaching fundamentals. If the students, they are not able to understand, if they report it to you, you can repeat ten times, but on your own, you cannot shout many, many times to make the things that, I did, uh, that, that becomes fundamental. No, that doesn't become fundamental. So that is another trick. Then another thing I have seen because mostly see what is the crowd. If you see the JE segment, it's a 9th, 10th, 11th. They are kids. They are really innocent kids. And for gate and IAS, for online, generally it's a second year, third year crowd. To be frank with you, they are so new to the engineering, they don't know much. Or probably they don't have good teachers, they don't know fundamentals. So whatever you are teaching them, they think that, oh, sir, is teaching very well. But what sir is doing, he is taking the help of whatever I have discussed to make the class interesting. But that is not basically it's injustice to the students. If they don't understand fundamental, how they will be how they will get selected. So uh, what you know, some of these uh, teachers does basically, he will make some of the questions and teach related to the theory. Then they will purposefully pick up some of the question and ask the students, can you answer? Naturally, students will be able to answer. But whatever out, the language of the question is different. A student is girl. So that is also one of the prominent things that is happening. So now question comes because hopefully this online may continue for some time. So how a student should recognize that I should follow him? Because this is particularly everywhere. But once again, I would like to tell you, there are some genuine teachers. There are some genuine teachers. So one, one point I missed, some of the teachers, you know what they say? I am the only teacher for their subjects all over India. I am the only teacher. You have to come to me. For example, physics. Physics, I am the only teacher. Suppose these words, if you hear from someone, you have to doubt whether you are with a uh, with good teacher or no. A teacher is always humble. We say, na, Sastra says, Vidya Dadati Vinayam. The person who has got knowledge, he will be humble. 
A teacher will never say that I am the only one who knows the subject. I am the only one who can teach to all of you. The teacher is always humble. So, so now as a student, there are some tips basically how you should recognize that I should continue with this teacher. Number one, as I told you, you should be humble. He should not always say that I know everything and I am the only teacher. There are many teachers in India's intelligent country. There are many, many teachers here. Even for sim simple subject like material science, there are many, many teachers. So teacher is always humble. If the humility is reflected in the lecture, means a good teacher. Number two, he should not talk cheaply about women to students or to others. He is the person of very good character. How to measure the character? The person should not talk about opposite sex cheaply. That's the second thing. You have to you have to see this thing. Number three, the person should not be engaged in any kinds of intoxication. Because if it's a too much intoxicated, it means there is some problem in the character. Teacher should be of absolute character. Because if the students are respecting him, students are imbibing those qualities. So now, next is the teacher always loves students. But generally, it's now also, now also a gimmick. Everyone says, especially online, I love teacher only for a students, only for a students. If you are telling too many times, it means you have some hidden motives inside it. But a genuine teacher always loves students and teacher is always thinking about the welfare of his students. So you can uh, have the checks and balance before following any teacher. And most importantly, if you are the beginner, for example, for JE, if you are 9th, 10th, 11th, or for uh, GATE and IES, if you are second year, third year, please read standard books. No notes can give you selection. You read books, standard books of each and every subject. Don't replace book. Books are treasures. No notes of any teacher can replace the books. You have to read books. So with this, I will close for this discussion and you can, you can see some of the more videos like this in future. Good luck and all the best.